My name's Tui, and I'm here to bring you Metal API walkthrough. Um, it's gonna be uncut. It's gonna be, I, I don't wanna be editing a million videos of here's how to open a window, here's how to do that. No, I'm just gonna code as long as I possibly can, and could be two hour videos that I upload, who cares? I'm gonna do it. Probably uh, going to edit a few things out, but for the most part, it's just gonna be uncut. Um, you can watch me and how I code. If you have suggestions on how I code and how to make it better, let me know. If there's cool things in Swift that I am unaware of, let me know. Um, but yeah, basically what this entire series is gonna be about is graphics programming using the Metal API shader language. What that means is I will be creating maybe a graphics engine, probably a graphics engine in in Metal using Swift and my Mac. So a lot of the devices nowadays have Metal built into their applications. You can use Sprite Kit or any one of those that have it built in automatically. I don't wanna do that. I'm the kind of person that likes to build things from the ground up. And so uh, let's build from the ground up our own graphics engine. Uh, I don't really like to be called a game programmer because I'm not really into the game aspect of it. It's fun, and I'm sure we'll probably make a game, but I like the graphics. I want to understand the graphics. I want to know how everything works on the screen, how everything is drawn, how, how uh, you know, when you watch a movie like Beauty and the Beast, yeah, Beauty and the Beast, how the hell they get <laughs> the clock, Mr. Clocksworth, to look like a freaking clock. Uh, you know, it's unbelievable the things that they can do with technology nowadays. And I feel like we have the opportunity right now to learn all of this stuff. And they made it really easy for us to learn how graphics are drawn. Um, if you want to learn Unity, that's probably a different video for you. If you want to learn, you know, any one of those other things, I'll be, I'll be using Swift programming language. Uh, so if you want to learn a little bit of Swift and how Swift works, I'll be using GitHub to post all of my material to. So you'll have open access to all that. You'll be able to get it, see what I do. Instead of having to type out everything I do, you can just go and copy off what exists there. Uh, I'll even be showing you how to use Git and how to use source control because I know that there's a lot of times that I need source control and I don't use it. So I'm gonna be thoroughly using it right now. Um, mostly, I'm, I'm not even gonna be using branches in the Git because um, when I'm starting off, I just kind of like to get a base. And then once I get enough built up, you know, a foundation, then I can start branching off and doing different things. But to start off with, I won't be doing too many branches. It'll just be one master commit. Uh, I'll be also using um, like Blender to make my 3D models for uploading. And yeah, so I'll, uh, for, for the most part, I will be coding, explaining what's going on on the screen. I might not know some stuff. I might just say, I don't know what that means, but I'll try to tell you, we'll look it up together. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be fun and I'm excited to document it. It's easy to learn through teaching. And that's what I'm gonna be doing, learning through teaching, but also teaching. I know a fair amount of this stuff. So let's do it, let's get at it.